Thank you, so do you. You know, you know mm-hmm. Got TV. That's a hashtag, you guys. I can't yeah. even see the screen. I'm so blind. It's a hashtag. Hey, <laughs> Mickey, you usually do this. I got yes. it. Use it I... on social media to get on our, on our on our chit chats and stuff like that. It'll be sent to all of us. Hey, you never know if you might get a, re- a retweet or something, right? Know. Throw them a bone. We'll throw you a bone. But um, <laughs> don't forget to click the likey likey. The like button, you guys, Mm -hmm. and the most important, subscribe. That's right. Subscribe. Oh yeah, you know what? Too set your reminder. You get a little 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 countdown. I love. I actually love these. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. Oh yes. I need to get a new bell. (laughs) I'm gonna get a new bell. Click that bell, baby. Click that bell now. (laughs) Do it. Do it. Do it now. It's so good to see you, ladies, here. This Wednesday, every Wednesday, including everyone down in the chat below in our live chat. Thank you so much for being here. We love doing that. Um, We also love our Patreon after parties, which happens right after this show. It's one of my favorite things, the after parties. And it's also, you know, you get the full unedited version of our show, God TV, without the, you know, we obviously cut it down to this amazing show that you see here for free on YouTube every week um, and get to at- interact us with us in the chat and stuff. But then there's the full unedited version where you get to see us in all of our glory, oh, yeah. some fun little outtakes, like what just happened a minute ago. Can't wait Which for you we guys. like to call <laughs> juicy, 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 juicy. Version. Juicy, juicy I told see. you, I have very placid cheeks. Yeah, <laughs> that was a whole nother That's good. Okay, last week's That's after party, speaking of, we were talking about doing that. That was the funniest after party. It got so wild last week, and we all boxed it after. Like, that was the f- most fun we've had ever on Zoom. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. That Thanks was all really good. To join us. And, and as Mickey said, different tiers get different rewards, but our Patreon chat is open to everybody. So you still have time right now at the top of the hour, 6 p.m. Eastern. We will be in that live Zoom after, just like we are here now, but it's live. Right now. You guys like chatting. This- answering questions, all that jazz. But if you love us here on YouTube, you're going to love us in podcast form. We call it the hashtag Gawcast, and uh, it is the full version, the full yes. unfiltered, juicy, juicy version right in your earbuds on our podcast. And if you love listening to that, you're going to love Mickey's latest single, Grown Ass Women. It's the theme with Chapel Heart, and everyone cannot stop singing it, mostly Lisa, because she sends us videos of her doing karaoke to that song way back Everything. in the country <laughs> Ruth 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 Ruth. <laughs> you know what's great about hashtagging um and having the gong word you get percentage off for legacy subs show those guns you just worked out mickey show I those did guns. Just work out i told you but i did clean myself up before we started recording but i did work out you know i got a big punch that I'm ready for it bound for glory so i need to really kick it in because i felt like you know, I knew I was coming back and wrestling Kylie Ray, and I was like, oh, that, that was going to be fun at NWA, what, NWA 73, but this is a championship match. I really got to step it up. I got to really, you know. You look amazing, but we are so excited to get into that with Impact it's Wrestling. Legacy Subs, have. baby. Get it. Use Legacy that code GOL. Get, get 10% off Gaul. your order. Gaul. Yes. yes. What could be simpler than that? We love Legacy yeah. Subs. Thank you to our And we just, we love and just launched our CBD line. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. I told you guys. CB Dizzle. Yeah. yeah. CBD me. Really CBD good. me. Yeah. CBD me. I actually get the updates because I'm on the, I'm on the mailing true. list. And you can do <gasps> for the mailing Thank list you. on Legacy Stuff. Me too. So you can be the oh. first to know when there's new products. But again, don't forget to use that code. We have so much to talk about with Empower, with Impact Wrestling, Knockouts, Knockdown. And we have the perfect guest for that. Well, she's here, ladies and gentlemen. Kia Stevens, yes. Slow Wrestling, Impact Wrestling. She's had such an illustrious career in wrestling and now taking over Hollywood. We know her as, as Awesome Kong. We know her as our girl, Kia. Let's get her in here. And she's joining the yes! right now. Oh, I have so much. We have so much to talk about. We do. I know. I know. Yes. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. The, uh, hey. Uh. <laughs> hey there. You guys had to come in like your sleepwear, right? PJs, yeah. Oh, PJs. Yeah. Girl, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me put some clothes on. Let me tell you. Hold on, y'all. Take Hold your on. time. Take your time. Hold on. Oh, I love it. I love it. 
Oh my god. Got you up. Hey, we hey, it's not it's yeah. not even her fault. We said whatever you sleep in, didn't we? We did say yeah. whatever you sleep in. We did yeah. say that. We, we did not specify. Oh, y'all got to be clear in y'all messaging. I just talking <laughs> to you. Okay. We, we love you and accept you as you are, beautiful oh, lady. How beautiful. are you? Oh, oh my God. God. We're so happy to see you. We did not specify, to be fair. We were just saying that we need to put that in there. We didn't necessarily right. define oh, what type of sleep where. Oh, my God. Away. We have been trying to get you on our show for so long, and we are so, so excited and happy to have you here and celebrate everything. You are um congratulations on everything i know i just saw you at empower i don't think you've seen lisa in forever or val in forever but and yeah. i had no idea you, you were going to be there so i it was i was watching it organically i didn't know like well we did knew the lineup but i didn't know you were going to be there it was so good so good yeah. Stole the show all the show yeah my god it was a oh mark out moment for me too we were watching with fight tv and we were like oh my god it was just yeah we got to fangirl we got to feel like fans again you know yeah yeah, yeah. totally it was, marked out. it was a good moment for me it felt yeah. good yeah well you look amazing you do you Thank look you. amazing we're so happy to have you yes and what yeah. we do here on Raw tv we ask you uh who are you wearing now that you've got a little something. And uh, <laughs> what are you drinking this evening? Tell us, give us the rundown. Drinking, wearing, tell us everything. It, it's funny. There's this, there's this like outlet store called Dee Dee's, which I love. I love like, Dee Dee's Discount. You, you know Dee Dee's Discount. Oh, I love Dee Dee's Discount. The thing about Dee Dee's Discount, for those who don't know, it's it's like a Ross or a Marshalls or whatnot. Um. So for people who don't know, sometimes you can get things, you know, on, on, you know, that's, that's very friendly to your wallet, but sometimes some of those things are sent to that store because maybe there's something off with it that they couldn't put on the main line. And with this shirt, I believe this shirt is supposed to say smile, but if you look closely, it kind of says like senile. <laughs> Close enough. That's hilarious. Which kind of works both ways right now at this point in my life. But yeah, I'm like, my, my husband pointed out to me, he's like, that does, I don't is think this, that's uh. Is it supposed to say simple? Simple. <laughs> Oh, is it the I thought it was supposed to say it's supposed to say smile also, but I would say right here. And but you know, I don't care. I will wear my DS yeah. this year. I love uh, it. threads with pride. And for example, <laughs> I got uh, Kia, I bought uh, jeans there and I, you know, I'm so lazy. I'm one of those people just want to go try everything at home and then take it back. And I got it home. One leg was shorter than the other. <laughs> you really got to try it on. You have to try I, it on. That's so I funny. really inspect it. Yeah. They should I, have on the receipt yeah. as is. Well, so the, thing, the thing is, too, I, I call that the DD's rib, by the way. But the thing is, with DD's, things are so cheap. That even if you get it home and it doesn't work, you're like, yeah, I got, I got it for a <laughs> dollar. Yeah, that's like the Dollar Tree or ninety nine cents for, right? Exactly. It'll, it'll go in the bag of of, of donations. Uh, right. You know, for <laughs> Someone's gonna appreciate that for sure. I, we love a good bargain. Oh my god, we yes. always talk about. Uh, I love Rainbow the store. You know the Rainbow stores. Oh yeah, yeah. they're going stores. out. Are they going out of um, business, Rainbow? I, I haven't seen one in years. Well, Lisa, Kia, Lisa's always trying to tout the Wish app, and I wish she never told me about it because I've seen some crazy shit on there. <laughs> some yes. nightmare clothes. I will send you certain ones to be like, is this seriously? You can buy this? It's the weirdest stuff. Wish yeah. Sense. And it's they Asian come. sizes, so their large is our extra, extra, extra small. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Very true. That's Jeez. so funny. <clears throat> What are you drinking oh, tonight, Miss Kia? Are you in buying yeah. anything? I I have coffee in my glow mug that uh, won uh, Miss Brittany Young from the cast. She played a Carmen, gave uh, the whole cast. Oh, that's so sweet. Side, and then on the other side, it says Team Hill because, oh, you know, I my love it. Hill. So thank oh, you. Oh, that's Brittany. so nice. That's cute. We have to get that. So sweet. It's a little bit of cool in it. 
<laughs> with a little, little what? Equal, uh, equal. I think you said NyQuil. <laughs> she's drinking her NyQuil. What the hell? She's ready to party, man. She's ready to party. <laughs> that's, that's the double cup drink. <laughs> Cool. No, yeah, um, but I had to make my own half and half because I ran out of half and half. But luckily, I had some whipping cream in there, so I got some milk and whipping cream. I had to. No, I need to do the story, y'all. Need to <laughs> and Sweet BD, yeah. actually do that too. Well, I'm drinking a little water for first, and I have a little bit of a wine chaser. Uh, uh, Val and I <laughs> zoomed a little uh, right after um, one of our after parties and we partake in our wine and i think i might have a little had a little too much last night so i woke up with a headache so I, she goes drink water and i'm like but it's on tv i'm not gonna drink water yeah. and <laughs> what i'm wearing is actually a glow t-shirt from one of my good friends from the original cast is royal oh. hawaiian oh yeah big up to the original glow girls that's, That's so cool. right. Her, her and Little Egypt are my favorite. They're so nice. We see, we always cross paths at Comic Cons and stuff like that. It's so great. Yeah. yeah. Love her. Yeah. Um, I will tell you guys quickly, I am having my usual basic biatch rose. I'm on a rose kick. We were just having this conversation that in England, it's starting to get real cold and fall like autumn. And uh, I feel like the rose is not going to be much of a thing anymore. You know, so I'm trying, I'm drinking it all. You're making sure. Right. You know, I, when you told me that, I go, Rosé is seasonal? I never heard of alcohol being seasonal except the <laughs> crafts. Shit. I was you like, know, oh, I'm so out of style. Like I wear cider. white when I want to wear white, I'll, you know? I'll drink, uh, I'll drink red wine with fish, which is so like, you know. Oh my God, red wine with fish? Where yeah. are your morals? <laughs> I love it. Don't follow that uh, rule and either. I, and I don't wear a lot of red, but I wanted to uh, wear this new red lipstick and, and I've got a little authentic fuchi headband on so i'm just rocking it tonight fuchi. <laughs> you look cute you look gorgeous darling has anyone ever seen val and just like hobo gear i have never seen no. you not like just the nines head to toe I thank you so much this girl She's always put together right Glamorous. even on our show kia like she even on our show she always well, I'll show up like kind of like this, kind of like my hair's a little bit greasy, but I got my PJs. I'm kind of in theme. She's always to the nines. It's the earrings. It's the necklace. It's the headband. It's the. I love, love it. it. You know, I'm feeling very Blair Waldorf. I'm always doing some sort of character in my head. Like one day I was like, I'm going to be 70s, cool, groovy, like hippie chick. And then now, I don't know, Blair Waldorf is in my head. Um, but thank you. So nice of for you to say that. Um, Mickey, what are you wearing and drinking? What am I wearing and drinking? I'm so glad you asked. I'm wearing my little Calvin Klein. It's like a little two-piece romper PJ kind of set. Okay. Uh, oh, comfy, comfy. They might be dirty because it's football season, y'all. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Got my cowboy sleep slippers on. I have my uh, truly peach tea because again, summer's not over. It's not over quite yet. And, and I still have stuff to do today. So I wasn't going to go. I've said I can do a truly, right? I can do a truly. Well, Kia, we have to get to a subject that I have been talking to Carlito about, Chavo about. I am a huge Glow Wrestling fan. The show is made even better with the addition of you and some people that we know and love and we're so proud to see in the show. But I, I'm still holding out hope for the next season, but I don't want to get onto that. I just want to know how the experience was for you and, and, you know, was it just magical? Was it so much fun? Well, yeah, you know, I always talk about how I asked Santa Claus to make me a glow girl when I was younger Stop. and then the show got canceled and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm never going to be a glow girl ever. And then this opportunity came along. And I was like, thank you, Santa. It took you 25 years, but you know, you came through. And so that was when I heard I got the part, like that was, yes, that was magical to me. Next to uh, my Barbies and the Rockers band that I got when I was eight years old, best Christmas. <laughs> wow. I mean, like he came That's through. Amazing. That's and amazing. Then, the girls and everything and coming on set and seeing Chavo it was a big surprise I didn't know that Chavo was going to be training us so it was awesome and we actually kayfabe the girls uh, about me being a wrestler so when on the first day when you know um 
they started training all the actors to learn how to wrestle. We didn't tell them that I knew how to wrestle. So he goes in and he does like an international spot, yeah. like this international. And then he's like, okay, next person. And they're like, wait, what? <laughs> And for those who don't know what an international is, it's like a series of wrestling moves where, you know, you're like jumping over, dropping down, hitting the ropes and whatnot. So to see that go so fast and then to ask the next actor to be like, okay, now you do it. They were like, I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> I have no idea. What did I get? What did I get myself into? Right. You're like, what did I do? Oh, yeah. I think what's that. Yeah. <laughs> oh funny, my it God. Funny, it was a funny, hilarious moment. I was blown away by your performance in the acting world. Like I was legitimately, I thought when I was watching it, I was like, this is just going to, you know, for a woman to be able to cross over, um, I think, cause we've seen the guys do it, but no women have actually like really crossed over into the acting space and for you to be able to do that. But that character was amazing and it was hilarious and it was so well-rounded and I think that you portrayed it so well but also I think that the audience the wrestling audience had not seen you in a space like that before so they saw you in a whole different light like it was just like a it was I think it was a, an awesome thing for not only your career but I thought that you were did such a perfect job with her you know like oh. you really became like it was great you did so great so great and I was a fan of the show too I was sad to see it get I always say, you never know because a lot of people wanted to come back. You never know. But I thought you did a fantastic job. And I was like, dude, she's going to take over Hollywood now. She's going to be like the female rock. Yeah. We ain't going to see her no more. She's going to have everybody's and calls. And, and you're like representing all the female wrestlers. And we were so proud. We're like, yeah. yes. Yes. Yeah. The, the irony of it was, though, for me, the irony was when I got into wrestling, I, I've been acting all my life. I, I've been a child actress. Uh, you know, I was a child actor and then moved on in, into acting, but I wanted to wrestle. So when I got into wrestling, I was this actress trying to be a wrestler. Right. And then after years that, you know, went away and I was a legitimate, you know, wrestler, at least, you know, considered by the industry. And then I get this role and now I'm this wrestler trying to be an actor. Right. Full like, circle. Full circle. When is it gonna, you know? That's so funny. Yeah. yeah. Well, you did it provide you a coach at all, like coaching for the acting side of it to work with the lines and all that kind of stuff? Or did you no. have your own trailer? Career, you know, threw, threw me in and um, ready to go. But I mean, I had, I, I have acting experience. This is what, right. this is what yeah. my mother raised me to do, actually. This is where she oh, okay. saw yeah, yeah. me. She right. Saw me. Oh, life. Isn't that so. ironic? Wow. Yeah. Well, so can you confirm or deny the fact that Carlito said that he had his own trailer, but he also said that he had someone patting him down and bringing him coffee? Uh, <laughs> you can pat him down? <laughs> I don't know about the patting down part. That's how it's hard to look into, but um, like extra. <laughs> Yes, Carlito had his own trailer with the with the name of his character on the door. Yep. And your trailer was bigger. What's that? Was your trailer bigger than his? Uh, at this, uh, it depends on the season. the The first season, no. The second season, yes. Yes. But, uh, yeah, and as far as the coffee, yes, we have a uh, we have uh, production assistants, you know, running to get the actors things if we can't leave the set and whatnot and it was a fantastic crew on yeah. globe like one of the best crews i've ever worked with as far as acting is concerned in my in my life yeah it was an incredible cast it really was i thought everybody nailed like it was such a great show we we loved it every oh i think gosh. wrestling all of wrestling because it was just a different way to look at and now you look at the shows that have kind of folded out of it like the heels show has kind of come up out of it and different like a different way to consume wrestling content like that behind the scenes kind of it was it was yeah. really unique I, I thought and, it, it, was really and it and it brought in uh, more fans of wrestling because um it, it it reached out to the mainstream audience not wrestling right. hardcore fans yeah you yeah. know and more females yeah. i think too it yeah. did. I, I, when we would do like Q and A's or appearances, I would meet a lot of people who said, you know, now I'm watching, you know, 
wrestling every week because of this show. Thank you for that. Now I'm, now I'm a huge wrestling fan. And yeah. uh, we're just one person to say that. Maybe go, yeah. So, yeah. 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 So what a, what yeah. a way to give back to the business in like a completely cool way. I, I, I was sort of the opposite because I almost was like, people kept telling me how great it was. And I thought they're just telling me that because I'm talking about episode one had just come out. And I thought, thank you, I'll, I'll give it a watch. But I thought they're just telling me that because it's wrestling. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I will not spoil it. Because listen, there's going to be a whole new generation of people that glow wrestling, that, which will live forever on Netflix, that they're going to start discovering it and discovering those amazing seasons. But I won't spoil it. But episode one, the way they hook you at the end of episode one, I was like, sold. Sign me up for everything they're doing. It is such a captivating show. And it has nothing to do. I'm not saying that at all because of even the wrestling as aspect. It's just an amazingly well-written show. And, and as Mickey said, the cast was really cool and diverse and and fun. It was just cool to see some of our people sprinkled in, you know, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. yeah. So cool. I love that. Well, Mickey, we have to talk about uh, one of our favorite hashtags: hashtag Empower. Those three R's. Yes, um, we had such a great time, Lisa and I. We just mentioned that we watched it on Fight TV. So thank you to them for having us in the live chat. It was the next best thing to being there. But we were so that was amazing. Shocked. Yeah, it, but we were shocked that that, that Kia was there. Um, tell us about how that came about and, and how it felt on the night. Well, for me, it was a huge surprise and we had to work very hard to keep it a top secret, secret, secret. Um, but I was just honored to be able to have Kia come in. I know Lisa, you all had a chance to work together, but Kia and I had never really worked together, worked together before we've seen, we've seen each other and been in passing, but you know, I think that yeah. it was a perfect space to have this moment but I was telling Kia I had no idea that she was going to announce that you were going to announce your retirement that night and in the conversations with Brian we all love Brian Brian Wittenstein here in the conversation with Brian and you being there and like okay well, we're gonna hide her and oh where are we gonna put her and then if we're gonna have send makeup up there or we're gonna do whatever I don't know what how and I was like so I'm watching it as a fan in the in the actual ballroom Mm -hmm. And it's like, because you, the ballroom, the, when you watch the video of it, it doesn't even match the sound that was happening inside the ballroom. Oh. When your music hit, Kia, when your music hit, there was this immediate, um, I don't know if you knew this or not, because I'm sat, sitting out there in fan territory. So I'm like sitting out there when your music hit, there was this immediate like gasp oh. of, <gasps> Yeah. Like from the crowd, like the air, because they were like, holy shit. It was like that holy shit gas. No way. Like, I don't know how to think right now. And then the music, when the music hit and the people went insane. Like it was, it was so loud in there. I don't, yeah, I don't know if you felt it. It was, but that moment was beautiful and it was perfect. And I was crying and I was totally in my emotions about it, but what a moment, what, a, what an amazing thing. And I think it was oh, really right. the perfect place to celebrate everything that you um, have done for the business and for the industry and to break down barriers and do all these things that we get to celebrate. And so many women get to um, be so fruitful of today. So totally. thank, thank yeah. you for that opportunity and that chance. I'm so sad that, um, that, like the wire, because the wires like did get crossed. I told Brian, I'm like, okay, this is gonna be the last thing I do in um in the ring. Um, so yes, it will be perfect with Gail. Yes, sign me up. Yeah. And I'm doing this, and in fact, I have been walking around the house talking about that even with my husband. My husband was even surprised. He was like, wait, so you you announced your retirement? I was like, I have been walking around this house, albeit naked, talking about this. Four months. <laughs> the nakedness distracted That's why I didn't him. hear it. <laughs> the nakedness yeah. distracted He's like, I wasn't, I was hearing you, but I wasn't hearing you, you like, know? <laughs> but like I, like, I have been saying this for a month, and even though I would not change a, a thing in what happened, uh, what transpired in the ring, I won't lie, I thought everyone knew that this was, I thought, you know, production knew this was my last thing, so on my way there, you know how you envision how it's gonna go. I was like, yeah, this is gonna be my last thing. So I'm sure they're gonna give me flowers and like stuff. And I'm gonna be like, bye wrestling. And 
whatnot. And then no one knew that that's what I was. <laughs> that's what I was doing. So that there there were no flowers, but that's okay because oh, I, oh you <laughs> deserve all your flowers though. Exactly. You are going to get all your flowers. You deserve all your flowers. I'm so sorry the wires got crossed there, but I thought it was amazing because it was. Well, it was just amazing to genuinely just be in that moment and feel it when you said it. I felt like that was even more special because I was like, oh, holy shit. Like, wow. Like, and it just, for me, it felt very genuine and special and magical. But yeah, I'm going to buy you all kinds of flowers. And and your guys' angle, your guys' angle, um, Kia, like when I, that's what brought me to TNA when I saw you and Gail's angle. And I'm like, oh my God. And all the, all the talented girls that were on the show. And I was like, I've never worked with a lot of these people. And so that's what, when I, that's when I started heavily watching it. It was because of your guys' angle. And I'm like shocked that Gail didn't even tell me any of this because I talked to her quite often. So she did keep it hush, hush. You do like yeah. a surprise. You do like we a like surprise. We like a good surprise. I, 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 True. We're just surprised at this point, and I think that that kind of shows how big of a moment it was that none none of us knew, and it was, and that was so cool for us to have that little moment, that fangirl moment. We don't get many of those anymore. You know, everything's kind of you yeah. get a little jaded once in a while, but this was like, <gasps> and then with Gail, and we know your history and all of that. I mean, I was literally ringside for all of those, and I just, I, I did I cry a little bit as as one of our guys in the chat, one of our buddies, Mickey D, would say, somebody was cutting onions, a lot of onions. <laughs> Yes, yeah. we yeah. for me. We <laughs> for me. Uh, did, did Gail cry? Did Gail cry? Yes, even Gail yeah. cried. And she never <laughs> cries, you guys. Gail did not cry at Tracy and Frank. She never cries. It was she the, does. Gail does not cry. It, it's it's funny because I'm the complete opposite. I just oh, yeah, she didn't cry just, at her own wedding. You're right. She, she told didn't. me that too at her own wedding either. When we were standing up there, so it was me and Christy Hemi and 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 Tracy and well, obviously Tracy's the bride. Me, Christy, and Gail were the bridesmaids. And like, actually, Christy, I looked over her and she was like, <laughs> her shoulders shaking and she's crying. I'm, of course, crying. And Gail, Gail's just looking totally pristine and just, just listening, just yeah. engaging, but not crying at all. No cry <laughs> in the house, except for Gail. She is a tough cookie. Yeah, she is always composed. That woman yeah, yes. always is yeah. very composed. No way. I envy that. Yeah, I do. What's that like? Yeah. I know. Get, get out of here, feelings. Stupid feelings. Stop it's selling on your face. You, we, we're the worst at hiding our feelings. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I give it away. Oh, yeah. That's great. Mm-hmm. Hey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Why, why oh, do you guys think I wore these braids in the ring? I, I don't know, at least if you would remember how it would cover my face whenever I was laughing or cracking <laughs> yes. up in the ring. I would cover it with my braids because I'm just like cracking up at something. I'm like, that's so inappropriate. Let me cover my <laughs> I love that. I love that. So I much. totally remember that. God, I, re- I, I remember like going up to you um, backstage and I was like, oh man, I was so new in, in TNA. I was like, these girls are not, I, I, I don't feel welcome, but you were like completely opposite than um, your character and so warm and welcoming and just so people don't know how sweet you are, you know, at, at all. You're so genuine, loving, and um, yeah, you just have a lot of emotions to share. And I like that though. You're you're just you're a true person, and so lucky and honored that I got to do a big angle with you. Yeah, thank you, Lisa. And that's you know, uh, well, we always kicked and have fun outside of the ring, but where my love for you like cemented into like it eternal feelings love as when uh, we had that cage match and you were stuck like a spider or a fly to the cage and you were about to make the big jump and the look on your face it was like fear but determined to do this you know I gotta freaking do this I have to no trust right and the trust that you entrusted in me to take care of you, that jump, making that jump meant that, hey, I am trusting you with my body, with my life to take care of me and catch me in a safe way. Yeah. That, that it said it all on your face that meant the world. And when you were in the air, I'm like, I'm catching this woman. Yeah, bitch, I got you, bitch. I got, I got you, me. bitch. <laughs> I'm catching this woman. She said, I love I'm this woman. I'm Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank I you love so much. I love that. Sister. I know. Oh, 
Oh, I love that so much. Mushy, mushy, mushy. Mushy, what is wrong with this? I can't. Hang on, let me put my host hat back on so I don't like shed a little tear. There was just something in both of my eyes. It's fine. Um, no, I was watching your face the whole time. I was just waiting for the I, water. I was place. waiting too. She said something about she trusted me. <laughs> um, sorry, everyone. They're used to it by now. Um, so moving on to uh, current events. In the news, we have knockouts knockdown happening this weekend. We're getting close. Just three to days to away. Yeah, huge pay per view coming off of Empower. I mean, we're just progressing and doing more and more amazing things, and I'm just so excited. I say we, meaning women in wrestling, are are totally in the spotlight. Um, so, Mickey, first of all, I'll go to you. Um, you've got your uh, your I guess I would say dream or what you what you've been trying to achieve with Empower and trying to progress women's wrestling. It's just gotten better and better since Empower, but what is Knockouts Knockdown? What does it mean to you? Well, you know, we've all been a part of Knockouts Knockdown. Have we all been a part of Knockouts Knockdown before? I think I always say that Impact, I know we've said this, and it, Impact was yeah. doing uh, things for women's wrestling well ahead of the curve mm -hmm. before it became a hashtag of women's wrestling matters or give the divas a chance and stuff. I thought that, you know, that's why I think that your moment Kia was so impactful or like those angles that you and Gail had, because that was when a lot of women, other, other places were not getting the time um, yeah. and stuff that they were, you know, that they were getting there and it was so powerful. And I felt like you really broke the mold for a lot of people too, of like what oh, that, yeah. I mean, at WWE at the time was doing straight divas straight, like, models and beautiful beautiful women but not necessarily wrestlers or athletes across the board you know so it was so different and it was just like embracing everything that you are and embracing being a badass female in this crazy you know business um i just i just i just loved it but it's like it inspired so much and now we think about it that we have rosters full of very incredibly talented women and we have locker rooms or like p women, enough women on the other side of it that have been there and done that to help lead the charge because it's, it's different, you know, like it's before when we were all breaking in the business, there, it, there wasn't a lot of women that had made it and made money on television or had broken through a lot of those barriers. Now there's so many that can help lead the charge because now these women are getting in the wrestling because they want to be wrestlers, you know, that's so different. That's a different space to be in. And so now we can have these empowers and knockouts, knockdowns and all these things to showcase all these badass women. And it's oh, just yeah. It's yeah. real exciting. I know Kia, you're going to be there. I'm very excited yeah. about that. I'll be there. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I think there's uh, all kinds of stuff happening. It's, it's a very, very special. One more match. One more match. You're going to hear that. You're going to hear that. <laughs> you know you are. Yeah. It's got to be yeah, weird to go back and see some of, uh, uh, big announcements made on that show on Knockouts. I Knockouts. know. So people, people have to tune, tune in. in. They it's have to. A special be. night. The way here, you got to buy it, bro. Yeah, bro. You, I do. We're not going to give it all away. We're not going to give no, but it was a, what a magical night. I think that I can't wait for the audience to see that night. Like, cause I just felt like it was such a powerful, I was obviously on commentary with Miss Veda Scott, who now yeah. I just, I I've met Veda a couple times, but that was the first time she's so smart. What a smart cookie that one is. Yeah. yeah. Future podcast coming up in three days time. It's going to be knockouts. Knockdown is going to be live on pay-per-view check out all the info of course hope you're following impact wrestling miss kia where can we find you on social media tell the fans where they can get all the updates girl k on twitter you can find me at mean queen k on instagram you can find me at spinning fist yes <laughs> that, that fist yeah. is vicious that is vicious y'all <laughs> Well, Kia, we love you so much. We could talk to you all night. We've kept you way yeah. too long because we just have yeah. so many fun stories with you. We love you. We're so proud we of you. you so Thank so proud. We're happy to see that uh, we're going to be seeing more of you uh, thanks to Impact Wrestling and this amazing initiative with Knockouts Knockdown. For, uh, for all of us here at GAW TV and our fabulous friend Kia, we love you. And thank you for being here. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to go back to bed now, okay? Okay. 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 Oh, are you going back to ah! oh, no, Here we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. You go to bed. <laughs> go Good night, bed. everybody. <laughs> Wah wah wee wah. Hello. There's the song. This is the word. Go, yo, go.